Hey, what's going on guys? Kabutops here, and today I'm bringing you another Star Citizen video. In this video, I'm going to be tackling the subject of ba -ba -ba -boom, FPS. If you want better FPS in Star Citizen, I'm going to be giving you a guide right here, right now, to improve that. So, sit back, relax, grab a snack, and as always, let's see it. Okay guys, before we continue into the video, I would like to say that we are doing a 1 million AUEC giveaway and a 2 million AUEC giveaway if you are a member on the channel. So the only way to enter these com uh, competitions is if you subscribe to the channel and comment your in-game username. If you want to, you can leave another comment or something along those lines just to, you know, have fun, engage a little bit, and promote the channel a little bit. So thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy the rest of the video. Okay guys, so before even jumping into the settings, I want to show you some commands that could help you in the game. If you press the tilde key, or tilde as some people call it, there is a group of commands that I will be putting in the description down below. These are basically display info so that you can see what your FPS is like and stuff such as that. I have mine set to display info as zero because I don't want to see any of it at the time being because while recording, I still input these commands even when recording. I just don't want to have that covering the screen for you guys. But you could switch display info to be zero, uh, one if you would like it enabled. We do fog shadows zero, enable full GPU sync as zero because that can mess up your game. And I do system max FPS to 165, which is the hertz, of, uh, the hertz of my monitor, so that it's not overly trying to go above and beyond what my PC can actually handle. Because uh, what's the point of getting 700 frames if my monitor can only do 165? I have shader HDR zero, shader post process is zero, shader water zero, SSD mode one because you need that on. Uh, for your shadow pool size is 128 and then shadow pool size as 2048. So these are good commands and when you press enter it will turn green and that shows you that it has completed it. Now we're going to go to the options. Under the graphics settings, you want to have all of your like the majority of your stuff on very high or medium or off. Okay, so certain things like screen space shadows, you want that off. I don't know why I have that on. I'm dumb. Anything that you could turn off turn it off that is basically the best way of doing it some people say if you have everything on high it works but i have noticed no difference in gameplay if you have it on high medium or low so i have it on medium because it just looks good except for the quality have your quality on very high that matters the utmost you have to have it on very high so that it uses more of your gpu rather than your cpu okay so there will be no bottling neck bottlenecking there Another thing you could do is your graphics render. This is a very big tip, guys. They have recently made Vulkan, okay? You could do Vulkan beta, and then it would restart your game. You load in, and if you have an AMD GPU, it is recommended to do this. You just let your shaders load up at the beginning of the game, and you, it puts you in. You get way better like stuff, guys. It's absolutely nuts. Another thing I would like to say is always have motion blur off. V-Sync, no, that's just a good thing. And then your FOV, this does actually impact your frames a little bit, but I would say have it on 116. You're kind of a weirdo if you don't have max FOV in any game as a 2024. That's just my personal opinion. But now let's get onto the checklist. I'm going to list some things up here, guys, and I'm going to provide uh, screenshots and uh, things so that you can see what to actually do. But you want to have your GPU scheduling and graphics settings on okay so if you guys don't know what that is i'll leave a link in the description to how you could do that so i could help out other creators as well then number two turn on gaming mode on windows you have to turn on gaming mode this is a very big step guys that will actually help your pc do it as well so make sure to have that turn off all of your background applications the only things i have on star citizen while playing are usually just my game i don't have discord open i don't have google open i have none of that open the only other thing I have open will be OBS while I'm recording. Now, turn off Xbox Game Bar. If you guys haven't done this already, that is a big sucker for your GPU and CPU. It just hammers away at your memory as well on your RAM, and that is just something you want off as well. If you're on a laptop, which power to you for being able to do that, change power saving plan to performance. Make sure CPU minimum and maximum are at 100%. Okay. Okay. As well as, after loading up the game, close the RSI launcher. The launcher still uses about 100 megabytes of RAM, so I don't know if you guys are really scraping for the bottom of the barrel there, but it still uses a lot, which can equate to like 1%, 10% sometimes, you know? 
Guys, for NVIDIA settings, in the NVIDIA control panel, under Manage 3D Settings, except for PhysX, PhysX set processor your GPU, not CPU. You want to have your GPU, your GPU covering the majority of the tasks. Power management mode set to max performance, shader cache on. The other settings, you can do whatever you guys want with. It doesn't matter, but just do those. Those are the big things. And then set your shader cache size to 10 gigabytes. That is very important, okay? So make sure to do all of those things. If you guys do that, your game will be running smooth and beautiful, and you can enjoy the verse. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, Welcome and as always, have a great day. System. Thank you very much.